Hey y'all, my name is Corey Ashton and this is another WordPress Wednesday. It is absolutely best practices to be sure to be transparent with all of your visitors to your website and tell them if you have affiliate links inside of any of your blog articles or any of your content for that matter. So how do you add a disclosure statement so that you can give them all the fine print? Maybe one that looks like this. It's a simple conversation that says some of the external links in this post are affiliate links. This means if you click on the link and purchase the item, I will receive an affiliate commission directly from the vendor, but there will be no additional charge to you. Thank you for the support. That's a nice little description to add, but how do you do that efficiently and quickly across your whole website, especially if you have a full library of blog articles? I'm going to show you two different options today. One, using the Divi Builder that allows you to quickly and easily go into all of your blog posts and add this disclaimer. And the other option is if you're not running a page builder, this is what you can do using a child theme. I'll show you both solutions right now. All right, y'all, you have a few different places that you can actually add this disclaimer. If you wanted to, you could go all the way down to the footer of your website where you have your privacy policy or your accessibility statement, maybe your sitemap link, something like that. You could, if you wanted to, add in an affiliate statement link there and have a whole page that just kind of talks about this stuff. I actually prefer to have it on every single page that might actually have affiliate links. So I'm going to show you the first option inside of Divi. We're going to go into the dashboard of your Divi WordPress website. Obviously, you guys, if you want to skip ahead and you don't use Divi, I'll put the link below to skip ahead to the child theme version. Uh, but let's walk through the Divi version. Let's go do it. We're going to go in here and we're going to go to the theme builder. When the Divi theme builder launched, this thing was a game changer. It allows you to just quickly and easily apply any content, any layout to any area and just a couple of clicks on your WordPress website. I love it. So what I want to do is add something that goes directly to any blog article. So all posts. That's what I want this to do right here. So I've already created one that is assigned to all posts. If you haven't yet, you would just come up here and add a footer, right? That's where we want this to live is down in that footer area of every single blog article. Uh, add a footer in there. Add a build out a global footer. And then you would come in here and just apply it to a certain area, right? When you hover over any of these, you can apply them to only certain areas. That's what's so amazingly powerful about this. So this particular block I've already created, it has uh, already been tagged as all posts. So I know that this applies to every single post on my blog. I'm going to open that up. If you do have pages that have potential affiliate links, you might want to apply this there as well. But this is my footer area for every single blog article. I already have some extra uh, blogs that get to appear there, right? So I'm cross-marketing my other blogs inside of that category. I've got some links here to sponsored content or affiliate links, but I wanna go ahead and put in that language that I had in that disclaimer, right? We had this disclaimer. So I'm gonna grab that content, put it on my clipboard, come back over here to my theme builder, and I'm going to add in another block here full width block, just throw in text, doesn't have to be really big, doesn't have to be uh, loud and proud and crazy looking. I am going to go ahead though for the sake of now and just put strong around the disclosure state uh, wording here, right there, right, and click OK, and there it is. Now remember, I'm working only inside of the theme builder, right, that's going to be applied to all blog articles, but I'm putting it in one spot. We're going to go ahead and open this up and click save. We just want to be absolutely certain that that lives right here inside of all posts, right? And let's go check the front side of the website and see what it looks like. I'm going to navigate over to my blog, WordPress Wednesday. I'm going to come in here to an individual blog article. And then scrolling down below all of my content, right? Because I put it in the footer area. Here are my additional blog articles cross promoting here are those three visible affiliate links and there's my statement and it should be on every single blog article right if i go in here and go to some of my older stuff that i've written years and years ago let's go look at something from last year sometime right let's go into this one if i scroll down it should be living there just like the other content there it is right there easily and quickly in just a couple of minutes Okay, so that's building it out using the Divi Builder. 
If you're using any other page builder, you just want to see if they have a global option like that, that you can put it across the board based on content type. That's probably the easiest way to do it. Or if you don't have that option, you might want to go ahead and just put it down in your footer. So let's go look and see what it would look like now to go approach this from a child theme perspective. So I will say right now, time out, before we go any further, be absolutely certain that you have a backup of your WordPress website in place today, right now, and you know how to get to it. Don't just think to yourself, well, I know my hosting company does a backup. They might actually charge you if you need to roll the website back. So pause this if you're going to go this route using a child theme, because even inside of doing a child theme, you can accidentally break something. So we just want to be certain to follow this step by step. Pause right now and go push a backup of your WordPress website. If you don't know how to back up your WordPress website, I have a couple other videos I'll put in the description box below that might help you through that process. All right, let's move forward. Now that you have that all in place, let's go into appearance and go to theme editor. I'm assuming you also have a child theme in place, right? So if you don't have a child theme, time out again. There will be a video in the description box below. Go check that out because you need to be running a child theme in order to be tinkering in here with these PHP files. Now you understand why people use page builders. It makes things a lot less stressful. But you're coming in here and you want to look for a single PHP. Every WordPress website that has a blog should have a single .php file in it. You should be able to see content that looks like this in it. Anything you change in here, even adding an extra space at times, can break your WordPress website. So be very, very cautious. Again, I'm assuming that you went and pushed a manual backup, so you have a backup of your WordPress website in place. What we're looking for is to scroll all the way to the bottom of single.php, and you're looking for language that talks about your footer. It should have some sort of action item like this that says, get footer. You can come in here and enter down and paste in that same disclosure in here in plain text. Super easy to do, right? If you want to, you can add a little bit of markup around it and say center, and we'll go ahead and grab that in tag, and we just want to kind of wrap this disclaimer in center tags, kind of center the content in the middle of your page. Now this is going to drop this text in just above your footer area, only in your blog articles. Kind of interesting, right? That allows you to get access just to that one area. All of your posts will have this disclaimer on it. Let me show you what that looks like if I click update file right now. And then we go back over to the front side of the website and I'm looking at a blog article here. It should appear, if I, if I click refresh here, it should appear just above my footer, remember? So just above this section, it should break out and come right here. Let's do a refresh and see. There it is. So this is it centered here in this space. It's going to go edge to edge because it's kind of breaking the theme, if you will, to kind of put this in here. So you might have to do a little bit of extra styling to make it look nice and not be a sore thumb glaring at people. There is a little extra markup that you can do inside of some styling just to add white text to it and maybe bring in some spacing on it. But this is the down and dirty easy way to do it for adding it into your WordPress website, all the post area, if in fact that is the only area that you need it. But let's think about this for a minute. Wouldn't it be better at that point to potentially go ahead and just put it down in your footer? And you can typically get there using a widget. If you can't get there using a widget, you can also do it this way. Check this out. You should be able to go into Appearance and go to Customize. From here, you should be able to go into the footer area, go into the bottom bar, and right here you have an Edit the Footer Credits. You should be able to, if you want to, throw it in this space here. But remember, this would then go on every single page, every single post, everywhere. It's a global footer area. So I'm going to scroll down here, and you should see it right there. See that? Kind of cool. Remember, this is in a responsive mode, so it would actually stretch out and, and be the full width if you wanted to. All right, so that's actually three different ways that you can add this disclaimer to your WordPress website. I hope that helps you. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe and check out over 400 other videos I have here on our YouTube channel. All right, y'all, I will see you next WordPress Wednesday. I hope you're having a great one. Bye, everyone.